Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're due for a random run and another loss, man. I'm feeling real bad about my performances lately. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Okay. I don't think 3KDDVJFY. It's been a long time since we've had an Azazel run, I think, on the, on the show. That's going to help out. <laughs> you might say, oh, that's incredible luck, but, you know... At the same time, did you see that dope-ass dodge that I had to do in order to make that safe? I'm not going to speedrun. Um, I'm just going to try to get a win under my belt. Uh, that that last Eden Seed, it took it out of me, man. We should have won. We got a... It's, it's glass cannon. But a situation where, you know, my cannon was probably not a high enough caliber for me to, you know, realistically have a great chance. And then dumb damage on top of that just really, uh, it sank me. And I feel bad about it because that, that's a winnable run. Uh, that I should have won and didn't. Hopefully, we'll be able to, uh... Well, I mean, on this run, I would be very surprised if we lost, which is not to say that it's impossible. But, uh, I... I'm hoping that we'll, uh... Not only win, but play well. So that I'll feel better. And, uh... Oh, jeez. That's alright. That might have been worth it for the amount of money we got there. Uh, and if we look for our secret room, we may indeed find... Enough money to then blow up our donation machine and then get mom's key, which would be nice. I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking I should use Crack the Sky, but at the same time, I don't really understand why I would when it's very unlikely to hit here at the top. And I've already got like some concentrated danger happening right there. Um, I'm an idiot, but that's okay. Well, I'm an idiot, but that's okay. Anyway. Two more bombs. We could probably bomb the crap out of our donation machine and just get Mom's key, which I actually think is probably our best course of action. Even though I'm still hesitant to steal from our donation machine, because it's like, you know, I'm stealing my own money. It's not really a great robbery in this situation. However, it worked out very nicely for us there, and uh, it's that's what the donation machine's there for, basically. Let's take an odd crack at maybe getting a quarter or something. We got one penny for a bomb. But at least we didn't take it from our donation machine, I suppose. I'm not too worried about getting an arcade on the next floor. It doesn't really interest or bother me. Let's head down to the next floor, feeling very, very good about things. And if Golden Chest show up, or God forbid we get a Guppy's Tail, we're super in the money. Because we're going to be opening Golden Chests like crazy. And uh, also, this marks our second curse room with an actual item in it. That's incredibly good luck as well. You could argue that... Uh, that's a waste of the fool card. Much better to save it for the boss rush room. I wholeheartedly agree. However, I've made my decision and uh, experimentation, you know, that's how you learn new stuff. And plus we have a pretty good chance to just snag like an extra one anyway. An extra teleportation card that is. I don't actually like Taurus that much. I, I have a love-hate relationship with this item. I used to love it. I, I don't hate it. So I guess it's not really a love-hate situation, come to think of it. Uh, but I hate that it gives us the speed down, and until we get, like, really high stats, particularly speed, it's very rarely gonna pop for us because our damage is already so high that we're gonna be killing enemies super quickly. So, I think Taurus, you know, it's, it's unlikely to be super useful, which is not to say that it's bad, but rather, um, could be better. Let's put it that way. Another spirit heart there is nice. Uh, remember, with the goat head, we got deals with the devil that are gonna be coming on, like, every single floor, so... I want to keep my HP as high as it can stay, realistically. But first, let's just beat the boss, and it's going to be Pin. I think we'll try this. That was a good uh, a good calibration for Crack the Sky. The, the beams don't stay around quite as long as I thought they did. Now we know to use it in a bit of a different situation. Next time, all guppy items all the time. All guppy items all the... Oh, yeah, okay. Let's completely fuck with our Azazel run here. Let's take Demon Baby. Let's take Mom's Knife. Oh, I really thought that Mom's Knife would give us the, uh, the beams. You know, like you shoot the beam of knives. Oh well. That's alright. No guppy items, but definitely deal with the devil precedent. Decent amount of HP. It's gonna be crazy damage with Mom's Knife. Unfortunately, our range is still gonna suck. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. I probably deserve to. Um, more spirit hearts? No, more money and uh, more keys. That's actually fine because that's gonna give us the ability to get more spirit hearts. Low on bombs, but that's okay. Golden chest, man. Hit me up with some golden chess. No, alright. 
All we need is like two golden chests to really start building our uh, our consumable base, probably. Because of Mom's Key. It'll happen eventually. I would just prefer for it to happen faster. Okay, we can do it this way if you want to do it this way. Humbling Bundle plus Mom's Key. Yeah, it seems like a great pickup. I'm not going to be sad about that one. Might be nice to have the Spirit Heart, but this is alright. Let's move it along here. I actually think that the Mom's Knife pickup made us worse in this situation. I really thought it would give us the beams, which are not always that good. Like the beam that shoots the knives, which is not always that good, but it's always fun. This is just like Mom's Knife, you know. We already had really good damage. Curse of the Unknown, we got three and a half. This will take it down to three. So just keep that in mind for uh, for deals with the devil. We're going to have to be smart about it so that we don't accidentally kill ourselves. We got three. I mean, we might as well use Crack the Sky when it's available, but it's not an item I really like. There's people, um, you know, I, I look at the subreddit a lot. There's people that say, like, Crack the Sky is their favorite. They don't say Crack the Sky is the best item in the game. But they say, like, Crack the Sky is my favorite item in the game. I don't get it, man. I gotta take, like, a workshop or something on it to figure it out. It's easy. You just put your lips together and blow. So we're still gonna be at three, which means we might not be able to take something here. Oh, but I wanna. But it's okay, because Goathead will, uh, allow us to come back there, and hopefully we can pick up some Spirit Hearts and get well again is good. We got three. Three. That's Just keep that in mind. That's our number right now. Three. I, if we could get Guppy's Tail, this run, assuming I don't die like immediately after because I'll have like one HP, uh, this run will be basically over because Mom's Key, Humbling Bundle, Guppy's Tail, with a lot of keys, is just going to sort us right out. Are you serious that you're not going to give me like enough money to buy a, f a flippin' uh... Uh, a flippin' uh, a freaking uh, spirit heart there. I need that. Like, desperately, please. This room is a little dangerous. Hey, man. We took out uh, two bonies there. I'm not gonna be mad about that. Probably should not have tried to get so close there. We need to get, like... We need to get more spirit hearts. I can't just take Guppy's tail. I mean, I can, but I'd... If we had HP, maybe we could make Judas' Tongue work for, for us here. But I'd really like to take more than just the one Guppy item. Because we have the Guppy Dream, like, present and accounted for right there. Balls of Steel takes us up to five. One more cent takes us up to six. Six is still not enough to get both of them, though. And one of them is, like, Contract from Below is in there as well. It would be awesome to be able to pick up all three. Some more bombs, which we can use to bomb our donation machine. We have Converter. I don't think I want to use Converter, especially not with Curse of the Unknown, but I'll admit, like, there's some weird things going on in my brain right now with, like, Converter, Judas's Tongue. We go into the boss room and somehow that works out for us, maybe. No more Spirit Hearts there, but an awful lot of money. Alright, so I think we're at, we're gonna be at six. Six Spirit Hearts. Once we buy the one from the shop. So I think we just get Guppy's Tail, unless we get more here. We really don't want to make an addition error here, so we'll pick up Guppy's Tail. It'll be really nice to have Guppy's Tail in addition to Mom's Key. But it is a little disappointing the way that we weren't necessarily able to get what I wanted to get. But that's life, man. You can't always get what you want to. But if you try sometimes, you might, just might find a solution that's not optimal, but it's pretty close. I think is the way that song ends. It's my favorite uh, One Direction song. R.I.P. Zane. Uh... We'll also, we'll blow up the mushrooms in the hopes of finding, like, a, a magic mush or maybe a, another balls of steel pill. Yeah, I'll try it. Speed down, man, that hurts. So I don't think Converter does anything for us. Um, yeah, we'll get Guppy's Tail. The Guppy Dream is still alive. And to be honest with you, not that big of a deal since we can already fly and Mom's Knife doesn't make it that amazing, but I'd like to get it either way. Uh, like it doesn't spawn that many flies, but uh, we'll take Guppy's tail here because of the mom's key synergy And we'll head down to the next floor and if I have four spirit hearts I'll kick myself a little bit because either one of those other items would have been a great choice But I only had three so I guess this was the right decision curse of the blind Yeah, and that's exactly what I would have needed uh, in order to actually pick up one of those items Lucky me, I suppose and then I immediately lost it, but still Alright, so our consumable game is sorted, and, you know, it's the kind of situation where your consumable game 
can make a big difference. If we can keep ourselves flush with spirit hearts, then we can guarantee ourselves or at least have a good chance at at least one item from every deal with the devil. One item from a deal with the devil, those add up, man. Arcade was not super meaningful here. A little surprised with the mom's knife damage. It's not killing enemies in like one tick. I can see forever is pretty good. Never gonna badmouth that. Blank card. Yeah, blank card's substantially better. Thank you, Demon's Tail. Paying out with a lot of black cards here. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's a little late, but there's gonna be more deals with the devil for us. Let's not get mad about it. Golden chest. Always gonna be good to open. Blank card death. All of a sudden, we got like a little makeshift Necronomicon going on here. It's gonna hurt on the way out, but that's okay. That's what my dentist says to me all the time when he's fucking me. Um, next room. Yeah, that seems like an obvious use there. Golden chest and not Bob's brain. All right, I'm probably gonna stick with what we had. Just wanted to try it. I actually kind of dislike Tammy's head, Mom's knife. It seems like a match made in heaven. It would be sweet if we had the beam, like the brimstone knives, and then Tammy's head worked like that. I don't know if it even would, but it would be sweet. You can't deny it. We'll be looking for better tarot cards, though. It's just there's too much potential greatness with blank card for me to get rid of it for something that's not incredible. Especially when our damage is like already relatively sorted here. Bob's brain? Bob's brain. Had to happen at some point. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm I'm thrilled to have it, but there are there are worse items, literally. Boomerang, sucks real bad. The jar. Both of these are terrible. However, now they're not gonna come back. And we had the money for it, and presumably we'll continue to get the money for it, so you know, no need to worry about it too much. Remember, we have Mystery Sack, Humbling Bundle, Mom's Key, a lot of keys, Blank Card Hermit. I think Blank Card Hermit kind of sucks, actually. We'll stick with Blank Card Death, which it gives us a really good start here. Okay, Bob's Brain, thank you. And now Mom's Knife can do its damage without me having to worry about anything. HP wouldn't be the worst thing here. We'll never know. Magic 8-Ball, Blank Card Wheel of Fortune, also pretty bad. Gimpy. Puts us in a weird spot, man. Low on HP. Happy to have it, but, you know, also a little scared. <laughs> it's Caves 2, so we're making great time. Uh, this is a scary situation with Bob's brain. We gotta be very cautious about this, but, we, you know, with Demon's Tail, I'd be in exact situations like this. I'd be expecting to survive, and when, as we survive, we thrive, man. That's That's my motto. Surviving is thriving. You know, there's a better way to put it, probably. I don't I don't work in branding. What am I, a cattle rancher? I'd still figure it's worth it there. I mean, if every chest is giving us, like, 11 cents and 4 bombs, I don't need to sweat it too much. Oh, right. I was like, whoa, we have an item in our secret room and I didn't check it? Weird. Crack the sky, right. Not particularly useful. Mmm... Scary. This rune, blank card rune though, you know the deal. Yara rune, Perthrow rune, Hagala's rune, mm. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it just cause I think it's a little bit more interesting. Than blank card death. Probably less useful but more interesting. It's like having, um, like a shittier version but a more flexible version I guess of Notched Axe. That's not a glowing endorsement. And this would have been a great room for a death card. However, uh, it's 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 interesting enough. If we get like one crawl space out of it, or even like a tinted rock or something, I'll be happy. Hey, so look, we got our own version of a death card anyway. We spent like 40 cents on this floor, and we still got like 25 back. Fire mind. Oh, that's incredibly dangerous. A little scary. Why use a bomb when I could have used uh, the Hagalaz blank card? You're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. And by, like, that's just, I made that person up in my head, but they have a good point, so we can't ignore them. Full health? Nice to know it exists, I suppose. Am I just being, like, too aggressive on these runs? Is it a combination, maybe, of, like, too aggressive plus I'm, uh, taking damage? More damage than I should? 
Because I feel like I'm making right decisions, but maybe maybe I've gone a little bit too far in the, uh, you know, we're just going to absolutely take every deal with the devil, even if it puts us at 1 HP meta. Maybe I've gone too far away from the HP is, like, meaningless. Or I've gone too far down that path of HP is always meaningless. Kind of just want to use my Hakala's rune. Would be a big waste, but... Oh well. 1305, boss rush. Definitely plausible. And this room is, is quite important for me. I think I might hate Firemind. I used to love it, but I think it might be just like absolute trash, actually. Oh, Taurus. We're almost at Taurus for once. Yeah, there we go. First time it's actually been useful for us all game. I had a feeling we'd probably fight a mini boss here. That's all right. Don't really want the steam sail. Just give me like a chest, man. That would help out a great deal. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's our long range shot. You know, I'm happy to have the steam sail, but there were better outcomes there. We'll go back and use our Hagalaz rune back there. Very, very touch and go right now. You know, let's try out these ones, see if maybe we can snag a spirit heart. No, that's all right. We tried. We got a host, a Burkano rune, and a Wheel of Fortune card. I think the Burkano rune is better than the Hagalaz rune for us. This is the Depths one, so we can do this. Good. I'm. I'm getting a little quieter here because it's becoming introspective as I stare down you know the barrel of the gun for a potential loss here on a run that is looking good okay this is what I needed I needed this Krampus fight here so we could get a free deal with the devil lump of coal might not do anything for us but at least we paid the Krampus tax at a time when we couldn't probably afford to just buy anything anyway so that's that's solid as far as I'm concerned I'm happy to have growth hormones but would it kill you to give me a little bit more HP I feel like that's what we've been asking for for like both of our last runs the HP is just not coming, man. But the damage is nice as well. All right, so we've got to use our Burkano rune every time it's available. Watch out. Bob's brain's going to be back. Pretty good timing. Don't really want that. Uh, let's look for a secret room. I don't really want to lose half a spirit heart to go into our curse room. But I will. Worth it. Yes! Okay, that's just crazy. But the dead cat pickup is absurd. Are we not Guppy now? We're, we're Guppy now, right? We got nine lives. We have Guppy's Caller, as evidenced by the ten question mark thing we got going on there. And we've got, um... Oh, jeez. Uh, we got Guppy's Tail. We, we made a very large effort to pick that up. We must be Guppy. Which means we should be generating flies. Oh, jeez Louise. But it, on the other hand, if I die, it doesn't really matter that much at this point. We got 10 extras that we can pull from. No, thank you, sir. I hope that there's a way that I can get through that room. I'm quite slow as a result of Taurus. Ah, that was actually super easy. That looks like our secret room to me right down here. Just a, the, the other room had like a template on one side that looked very secret roomy. Can't believe we spent like 40 cents on the last floor, and yet uh, we're already sitting at like, yeah, we're, we're definitely summoning flies. We're already sitting at 89, and that's going to be over 99 right there. Okay, that's an extremely good room for us. Try to get Bob's brain out of the way. Really good play right there, obviously. Oh, fuck. We've been to our item room, we've been to our item room, we've been to our shop. I don't have to explore, but I would like to... Fudge off, orange fires. I don't care about what you have to say. Don't subscribe me to your newsletter, all right, without my permission. Just run. <laughs> There's too much stuff in there for me to worry about right now. Oh, we got two black hearts out of it, though. And the keys, you know, the keys are keys. We may need them at some point. We do have Guppy's uh, tail. 49 keys is a little crazy. That's more chambers than the Wu-Tang entered. Oh, we can fly, right. Why not open that? And another black heart out of that. Okay, Demon's Tail is starting to be very, very nice for us. It's a trinket that I sometimes stay away from because I'm afraid of it. And that's a stupid decision, I think, in this context. 
Because we're kind of balling out of control. We can fly. Why wouldn't I blow up those skulls? Doesn't make sense. Especially with blank card. But we'll go back for it. And we should use Burkano here. There we go. Got to be careful about changing directions quickly like that. Oh, my, the spider was right next to him. Still could not hit him. What are you doing, spider? Spider artificial intelligence? More like artificial idiocy. Wasting my freaking time. Don't think twice, though. It's all right. Let's come back into this room. We'll start placing some bombs down. We have uh, enough to spare. That was a bad bomb. With blank card, I'm expecting to get something at least like half decent here. Boss rush is not out of the question yet, but is not my primary concern. Emperor. Blank card Emperor is actually really, really good. Especially for the late game. Used way too many bombs there. Blank card Chariot, you know, you can make a case for it. Blank card Devil, I can understand it. Blank card Emperor is really, that's the shit for us. Burkano is interesting, but blank card Emperor is like functional. And we're not going to use it to teleport out of our boss rush room unless we finish the entirety of the next floor in like a minute and a half, which is uh, unlikely. Unlikely. Let's check this out. I'm not rerolling my whole run. I will... There's a case to be made for Demon's Tale. There's a case to be made for Goat Hoof, because we're so slow thanks to Taurus. And I think there's always a case to be made for Curved Horn, an item that I... Or a trinket that I probably consider my favorite trinket in the game. Just for its helpfulness, so... I'm happy to have it. Situationally, and in this particular situation, there might be better trinkets. Demon's Tail has been great for us. And we're gonna replace it with trickle, uh, Triple A Battery. I like Triple A Battery, though. Um, we're gonna do this just because it allows us to do way less rooms, or at least, you know, a tangible number of less rooms on the... Uh, late game floors, which should save us a decent amount of HP. Maybe more than Demon's Tail would generate. Maybe not. It's uh, it's all up in the air. One thing's for sure, though. Those are all good trinkets, or at least the trinkets that we've had a choice of, they're all interesting trinkets. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to have them. I'm very happy that we got a choice between them. Saves us a lot of heartache. Well, we... Might as well go back for the keys, I suppose. This is a dead end. Probably formally putting a, uh, a pin in any boss rush desires that we might have had. That's alright. Pretty amazing that we got boss rush on the last run, but didn't get it on this run as a Zazel with Mom's Knife. But, you know, it happens, I suppose. Not a big deal either way. Blank card, credit card. We do have Goathead. Maybe this is even better... I don't know. It would be really nice to have starter deck. I should donate some money here. Why did I why did I even buy it? I mean, I should just get everything here for free, right? Let's just if I could blank card credit card and then just give my credit card to the donation machine, that would be nice. Bombs bottle of pills. Speed down, lovely pill. Tears down, another great one. Um let's charge up blank card just for just for, you know, convenience's sake. This is really only going to give us one more free deal with the devil. You know what? Credit card's interesting. I think Blank Card Emperor is better. We can charge up two Emperor charges with it, and then just go straight through the Womb 2 in the Cathedral. Especially with Trickle Charge. Like, after beating uh, this floor, we can get down to the chest in, like, three minutes. And that's not me trying to rush things, but we'll actually get hit less often as a result, so... I don't know. I, I think it's... I think this is the way that we get to the win here most easily. Not most easily. That's something completely different. I could under completely understand if you are playing this run yourself and you wanted to get credit card. It's a, it's a good play. This is a run where I think we've just had like a lot of difficult choices, but they're not difficult because, you know, it's a tough run necessarily. They're difficult just because there's too many good things going on. We've been to our item room. We've been to our shop. I'm gonna go... Let's do this. Watch out, Bob's brain is gonna wanna fire. And it's our job to tell it no, and then immediately get hit by it nonetheless. Take the Polaroid. By the way, if in case you're saying this, we can't use the Emperor card to teleport out of this deal right here. Why not take Judas's Shadow just in case we die? I think that's a good play here. 
We got 11 lives now. We could we could use Emperor to teleport out of the boss rush into the boss room, but teleporting from the boss room into the boss room doesn't do shit for us. Let's let's do this here so we can check out our um, our deal as soon as possible. That's what I'm looking for. And we'll just try to land like one more good shot there, and that'll get the job done. Mom's coin purse is not going to be good for us, probably. Speed down. I can see forever. Hematomesis. And a Whore of Babylon pickup, which is actually bad right now, because if I took it, we would, uh... Let's go down first. If I took it, we would respawn with one red heart, like, ten times in a row. Which I don't want to do. Gotta get rid of Bob's brain first. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I really don't want to do that. Just sacrifice, like, all of our HP to make it happen. That's a good situation. Thank you, Taurus, just in time. Now we do one room on the cathedral. Oh, this is such a quick finish at the end here. And I think we need to, we kind of need to sprint to the finish, because we're going to get ground down. Like, we're going to take shitty damage occasionally. Yeah, we do one room on the chest. Blank card it, and then we just Emperor when we get to the chest. Okay, get rid of Isaac's, or get rid of Bob's brain. Thank you. Already on the second phase. Maybe I oversold this as being kind of a tricky run. Like, it looks like we're in an amazing position right now. Taurus, just in time. Mom's Knife, big fan. I'm a big fan of that, and it worked out fantastically for us. It's been like a minute. <laughs> we're gonna go from like Debs 2 to the end of the game in like a minute here. That's crazy. Proptosis? Yeah, yes, please. This is one of the best uh, chest payouts we've ever had, I think. The proptosis pickup is just absurd. Get rid of Bob's brain. Thank you. And then we just land the occasional... Oh, we gotta get a little closer because of proptosis. Range downgrade, but a huge damage increase. And that is a remarkable finish on that one. I felt like I was going... We missed boss rush, finished the game in 23 minutes anyway. Pretty wild. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Let's start making a real streak, y'all. I'm ready. See you then.